my name is Patricia. I'm the local realtor here in Southern California, River State County, working for Excellence Empire Real Estate. I'm just going to go ahead and share some uh, tips with you for first time home buyers. Uh, the reason is because I do work with a lot of first time home buyers here in the area. So hopefully this information, these tips will be helpful to you. Okay, so let's start with the question. Who is a first time home buyer? A first time home buyer would be pretty much be someone who's never really owned a home. Obviously that is a first time home buyer. Also someone who had a home in the past and they sold it. Um, they no longer have a property. They are first time home buyers. Also someone who had a home in the past, they lost it to a short sale, foreclosure or a bankruptcy. Again, they no longer have a property. They are considered first time home buyers. Uh, also someone who uh, co-signed for a friend or a family member. Um, as long as you can show 12 months of bank statements that you're not making the mortgage payment, but the other person is. If you can show 12 months of bank statements that the other person is making the mortgage payment, you are considered a first time home buyer and you can purchase your home. Now, uh, for first time home buyers, one of the best deals out there available is the FHA loan. They'll ask you for three and a half percent down. So for example, if you're buying a house of 100,000, 100,000 100, home, you will have to come in with $3,500 out of pocket to purchase the home, just to say, that's for your down payment, okay? And so if you have not owned a property for the last three years, or have not had own, any ownership for the last three years of a property, then you can qualify for down payment assist, assistance. There's government down payment assistance, there are city programs, county programs, um, state programs available, and they'll literally give you the money for your down payment. So how do you purchase your home with $500, $1,000 out of pocket? Then, then again, you wanna go ahead and talk to your realtor, uh, your lender, the local lender, or you can call me direct and I can give you more details on that, okay? So let's go ahead and move on with number one, realtor. Um, it is very important for you to hire a realtor who you feel comfortable with. Um, even though you're not really paying for the service, the service to you, the buyer is completely free here in the USA. But you at least wanna, you know, you wanna hire a realtor, you wanna interview the realtor, you wanna feel comfortable with the realtor because you are gonna be working with a realtor for over probably 60 days. So again, you wanna feel comfortable with the realtor. Uh, hopefully the realtor is a local realtor. Uh, the realtor is probably very familiar with the area, uh, flexible, you know, with their timing. Um, maybe they're flexible to show you properties on the weekend. Hopefully the realtor has experience, is very knowledgeable what they're doing. So again, you want to feel comfortable with the realtor. If you don't, if you're nervous about who to hire and you can't figure it out, you're going online, you're trying to figure it out, what I suggest is that you go ahead and call one of your friends or a family member. Um, if they had a great experience with a good realtor, they'll probably refer you to a great realtor. And so again, talk to your friends or family members. Uh, financing, number two, financing is very, very important. Again, especially for you folks who are first time home buyers. There's a lot of investors out there who are buying their third or fourth home, you know, their, you know, their fifth home or so. But for you first time home buyers, uh, you wanna talk to your realtor and um, most likely the realtor will have a lot of knowledge on the programs that are available to you. Um, they know the local banks, they'll ref refer you to a great bank. And so you want to talk to your realtor, okay? Um, if not, then you can go ahead and talk to the lender yourself. You can go ahead and call your bank, your local bank, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase, whoever you bank with, go ahead and ask them questions. Um, if you get yourself pre-qualified, they're gonna have to run your credit and they're going to take a look at your income taxes information. It's very important. Those two things are very important in the qualification process, okay? So you can either talk to your realtor or go directly to the bank. I don't suggest online financing. I don't suggest you go online to try to get financing or get yourself pre-qualified. Um, I don't think a system will be accurate. Um, you definitely don't want to do that. They'll, you know, Keep in mind that if someone is gonna fully pre-qualify you, they're gonna ask you for a lot of personal information. They're gonna ask for your social security number, your ID information, all this good stuff. And so you don't wanna do this online. Um, maybe the, the letter or the qualification that you receive won't be even good for us. We might not be able to submit offers with that. So again, you wanna talk to the realtor, you wanna go to the local bank, 
but I don't recommend online financing. You just don't want to do that. Stay away from that. Um, number three, investment. It's very important for you to realize that you're not just buying a home, you know, a home for you and your family, but you are buying the best investment. Um, you can't beat it. Um, it's the best investment. If you think about the people that purchased their home back in the 50s, in the 60s, imagine what their home is worth now. Okay, even though these are older homes, property values continue to rise. There is a way property values may drop a little, but property values overall, cost of living, you know, it continues to rise. So the property values will continue to rise. So keep in mind that it's an investment, okay? Keep in mind also that you as a first-time home buyer, you can purchase one property, one home, or you can purchase a property up to four units as a first-time home buyer. The lender will give you credit. If you're buying a four-unit property, they realize that you're going to occupy one of them, but the other three, they'll give you credit as if you were going to rent it. Um, they'll give you income credit. So keep in mind, again, talk to your realtor about that or your lender. Always, um, if you purchase your home, say you decide to purchase one property, one investment. Uh, once you close the transaction and you feel comfortable with the mortgage payments, you feel like you know, you're know you able to make the mortgage payments just fine, go ahead and give your lender a courtesy call and find out how you're going to be able to purchase your second home. It is very important to be on, you know, to have the plan already. Um, a lot of people, you know, you know, they just purchase their first home and they are comfortable with that and they feel, okay, in 30 more years, I'll pay it off and that'll be my retirement. You know, I'll be happy with the home paid off. No, I know a lot of people who don't have very much education, who don't have professional jobs. They have more than five properties. They have, how do they do it? Very simple. You want to talk to your lender, you want to talk to your realtor for tips, and you don't want to settle with one property. Buy as many properties as possible, if you can afford it, obviously. And another most important thing is when you purchase a home, and when I always advise my client or my buyer is that if you're thinking of purchasing a home, make sure that this home, this mortgage payment, you're going to feel comfortable with that you're going to be able to afford this mortgage payment. Don't, a lot of people are able to qualify for a 400 home, a 400,000 home, but they feel more comfortable with a 300,000 mortgage payment. So just buy the home uh, that you can afford. That's the best tip, the best investment um, tip I can give you pretty much. Uh, if, as long as you're comfortable with the mortgage payment and you feel okay, even if I lost a job, maybe with my you know uh, unemployment or my wife's income we'll be able to afford the payment we'll be able to move forward um, buy a property that you're going to feel comfortable with the mortgage payment that you're going to feel so no matter what happens with the with the real estate market no matter what happens you always keep your home that's the best investment uh, keeping your home is the best best investment so I always encourage the buyers to buy something um, to buy something that they can afford, something something that they feel comfortable with, and uh, you know that way I know that they're buying themselves a great investment, and I know that they're not going to lose it. Um, and so again, uh, just talk to your realtor, to your lender, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll have a great experience. Uh, myself, I like to provide elite service to my clients. And I try to be there for my clients available seven days a week. My phone is available uh, till 9 p.m. Very flexible with my clients. I want them to have that um, the best experience uh, because this is very stressful. The whole process of purchasing your home can be over 60 days, way over 60 days, 90 days sometimes or even longer. And so it's very stref stressful for everyone. And so um, I try to do my best for my clients and so again, my name is Patricia. Um, you have my number 951-453-0739. I'm in Riverside County now. If you folks need any assistance, have any questions, give me a call. Again, I'm available till 9 p.m. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.